Welcome back. Nice to see that you haven't been scared off. That must mean that you want to know how to create projects and save scenes in Maya, as that's what we're going to be doing in this step. First thing we need to do is think about what projects are in Maya. Maya doesn't save everything in just one file. It saves them into a directory, into a folder. And within that folder, it has some subfolders where we should save different elements of a 3D project, such as the geometry, the textures, things like that. First thing we'll do is go into the file and project window. This is where we create new projects. So click on that and it opens up this. So by default, if you try and click and type in here, that won't work because you need to click on new first to tell Maya that you want a new project. So I'm going to call it Sorcerer's Desk. And I'm choosing to save mine onto the desktop. But by default, it will probably offer you in your documents folder in Maya, there's a projects folder there. You can choose to use the default if you want. I'm just putting mine on the desktop so it's easier for me to get to. But if you do want to change location, just click on this folder, choose wherever you want. Next, you'll see that you've got lots of names of different things here. This is what the folders are going to be called. You can, if you want to, change the names of these. And maybe that suits some workflows, but I've never found a reason to change any of those. So I won't be doing that. All I want to do is click on accept. And that then should have created our project. So now let's just minimize Maya and have a look. So you can see it created me a new folder and let's put it where I told it to. And then we'll open that up. And you can see that within that folder, it's created all of these subfolders. So we've got the scenes folder, which will save the Maya scene file. We've also got source images, which is where the textures that we're going to use need to go. There's an images folder, which is when we start rendering and that's where it puts the rendered images. And we've also got an auto save folder there, which is where the auto saved files, when we set it up in the first step, that's where they're going to end up. So as long as you can see all those folders, you did it right. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. We can close that and now mosey over back into Maya. And then while we're here and while we're covering this sort of thing, we'll just cover creating a new scene and then saving it. So to create a new scene, it's nice and easy. File, new scene. You can also press Control and N. It'll ask you if you want to save. I haven't made any changes to this, so I don't need to save it. So now I've got my new scene. It's currently called Untitled. Uh, I don't want it to be called that. So I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As. And you'll see that by default, it's in that Sorceress Desk project in the Scenes folder. And now I need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Sorcerer's Desk. That seems like a pretty good name. And then I'll just choose Save As. And that's it. The scene has been saved. We're now ready to move on. The reason that we saved this, even before we've done any work on it, is because now Auto Save will kick in. Until you save a scene for the first time, Auto Save can't do anything. But now that we've saved it, every change that we make will be saved every 10 minutes in line with what we set up. So we are now ready to start making some stuff in the next step. So we're going to create our first 3D shape in Maya, which is going to be a floor. So I'll see you in the next step for all that excitement. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.